Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this history-defining moment. Let's ask ourselves this critical question. If Nigeria was a business since independence, would we say that our leadership have turned it into a profitable venture? Today, we take Nigeria as seriously as we take a business. We are therefore on a search for who will become the next president of Nigeria. <laughs> We'd ask each of our candidates to step up and tell us why we should vote for them as the next president of Nigeria. I want to be your president because it is my turn. I'm a chartered accountant and um, I have a PhD and three degrees from the University of London. <laughs> yes, I'm very learned. If we elect you as our president, what do you go do for us? Tell us. Tell us. After this, you come to me, I'll change your life. Yes, I believe it's a tit for tat. You know, you rub my back, I rub your back, you know? Because you can't know me and I'm in power and I will not help you. The woman who stands before you today is a strong advocate for meritocracy and true democracy. I have the capacity to serve and to lead the good citizens of this country and to ensure that we make Nigeria great. Since our independence, over $400 billion of oil revenue has been lost to corruption. Amongst many other factors, I personally think that there are three factors that are very critical to national development. We have stable power, we have smooth transportation system, and mechanized agriculture. I do not need to stress the need to radically diversify this economy. Yes, we need to turn efforts from, from the ever fluctuating oil exports and concentrate, focus our efforts on growing other revenue generating sectors that can make viable exports. What are we doing as a community, as a nation, to make sure our young do not decline into drugs and delinquency? Because you see, education is the passport to a future. And that is why my team, I will work tirelessly with a well-meaning team that would ensure that innovative educational opportunities are put at the fore. My sisters, my brothers, you see brain, you see hearts, they're not get gender. Yes. Good governance, no get gender. Yes. yes. Anybody, male or female, that is passionate, patriotic and capable can lead this country. As long as we have the poor, the vulnerable, the marginalized, especially our brothers and sisters living with disabilities at the focus of our policy, anybody, male or female, can lead this country. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, if I am elected, rest assured that I will run a government that is accountable, transparent, and is given solely to the equitable fight against corruption. It will be my privilege to serve you, Nigerians. <laughs> Madam, go and take your form. We will vote for you. Yes. This message is from Agim Fadei Foundation with support from Mark Arthur Foundation. From north to east, from, from south east to, to southwest, yo, yeah. Who's on your thinking cap?